we want to find the equation of the tangent plane to the surface given by z at the point negative two, comma two, comma fourteen. Let's begin by looking at this graphically. Here we see the surface graphed in purple. The point of tangency is this red point and this yellow plane is the tangent plane at that point. So our goal here is to find the equation of this yellow plane. So going back to our notes, our first step is to write the surface in this form here where we're going to function of x, y, and z equal to zero. So looking at our surface, notice how if we subtract z on both sides, we will have a function of x, y, and z set equal to zero. So we can say that big F of x comma y comma z would be equal to two x squared minus y squared plus five y minus z equals zero. Next, notice how the point of tangency is the point x sub zero comma y sub zero comma z sub zero. So in our case, x sub zero equals negative two, y sub zero equals two, and z sub zero equals fourteen. Let's quickly review where the equation of this tangent plane comes from. We know the gradient of f evaluated at the point of tangency would be normal to the tangent plane at the point of tangency, which means it must be orthogonal to every vector v in the tangent plane, and therefore their dot product equals zero. It's this dot product that gives us the equation of the tangent plane. Notice how the components of vector v, which are in the tangent plane, would be x minus x sub zero, y minus y sub zero, and z minus z sub zero. So going back to our example, for our next step, we'll determine our partial derivatives with respect to x, y, and z, and then evaluate them at the point of tangency. So the partial with respect to x will treat the y and z terms as constants. So the derivative of two x squared with respect to x would be four x. The remaining derivatives with respect to x would be zero. So now we'll evaluate this at the point of tangency, which is negative two comma two comma fourteen, which would give us four times negative two, which equals negative eight. Next we'll find the partial with respect to y. So we'll treat the x and z terms as constants. So the derivative of negative y squared would be negative two y. The derivative of five y with respect to y would be five. The remaining derivatives with respect to y would be zero. So the partial with respect to y evaluated at negative two comma two comma fourteen would be negative two times two plus five. So we have negative four plus five or one. And then the partial with respect to z, we treat x and y terms as constants. So the derivative of negative z with respect to z would just be negative one. And therefore the partial with respect to z at any point is just going to be the constant negative one. And now we can find the equation of our tangent plane. We'll begin with the partial with respect to x evaluated at the point of tangency, which is negative eight times the quantity x minus x sub zero. That'd be x minus negative two, so that becomes x plus two, plus the partial of y evaluated at the point of tangency, which is positive one, so plus one times the quantity y minus y sub zero. That would be y minus two and then plus the partial with respect to z evaluated at the point of tangency, which would be negative one. So we have minus one times the quantity z minus z sub zero. So we have z minus fourteen. And this equals zero. Now reviewing the equations of a plane, we just found the standard form of the equation of a plane. If we distribute and simplify, we would have the general form of the equation of a plane. And in our homework, we're actually asked to solve this for z. So let's first put this standard form in general form and then we'll solve for z. So our next step will be to distribute. So we'd have negative eight x minus sixteen plus y minus two minus z plus fourteen equals zero. Combining like terms, we have negative eight x plus y minus z, 
Then looking at the constants, we have negative 16 minus 2 plus 14. So we have minus 4 equals 0. So this would be the general form of the equation of the plane. But if we wanted to solve this for a y, we would add z to both sides, which would give us negative 8x plus y minus 4 equals z. Or changing the order here, we'd have z equals negative 8x plus y minus 4. So again, this is the equation of the tangent plane at the given point of tangency, which is pictured here in yellow. I hope you found this helpful.